I used to play my color computer games on a black and white TV. So to me, the red blob was just a gray blob. It's so weird to see it in color. The call came in from a family known for keeping both sides of the law busy. Turns out their cousin Joe had been picked up by an interdimensional entity called Them. I was to handle hostage negotiations in return for a new office at the top of the Chrysler building. I explained that I sleep in here, and they added it would have an elevator straight from my new penthouse, provided I brought Joe back in one piece, and breathing, and conscious, and saying nothing but good things about me. I'm Laurie Burke, P.I., and I'm on the case. The family sent me to a house so far in the sticks, all the roads were labeled Main Road, even at the intersections. In the garage, I found the car. It took me where I needed to go, a main road among main roads. Somewhere, Joe and his captors waited for me. The car's operation was simple enough. D for drive, S for stop. I couldn't hit reverse since I was out of the garage. I had to be careful not to run out of petrol, or the whole shebang would be over. When I started driving, though, I saw something weird, fantastic. What the fuchsia-flavored LSD trip do they have me on? I learned all the side roads and numbers, assigned out of order by some drunken highway commissioner. There was nothing to do but figure them out. Hey, Jeremy. What do you know about holes? My brain was thrown open to a plastic, fantastic dot world. Love was served in treacle tea, and the portal to the next karmic plane of existence danced with the idea flies. My karmic reward would be in this box, they said. Curiouser and curiouser, said Alice, but I wasn't getting paid to drink on the job. Having learned the terrible secret of Exit 6, I decided to learn the terrible secret of Exit 9. The less said about that one, the better. Mm hmm, three's a potent number, given my previous experiences in bed. You have found us. Do you have random number subroutine failed gold coins, the elixir, and the bag of salt? Then I knew their racket. Herbal tonics, bath salts. They were trying to get in on the golden shower market. Those sons of bitches. I didn't come ready for that kind of party, I said. How about I get back to you? Sure. First thing you learn is that you always got to wait. Next up was the horror of Exit 2. I was starting to feel that this notebook and pen I carry with me were necessary to my survival. I started keeping a list, certain to confuse all future lovers of mine. In this crazy, mixed-up world, eight was a beacon, a temple with a porcelain goddess I intended to honor. Just as soon as I could reach the handle. They ran me a tab like they figured I'd be back. A lot. And then there was Exit 6. Even the Fellowship of the Ring chose the Minds of Moria over a fucking snowstorm. Exit 1 could have been one of the good ones. I told the shopkeeper, thanks, but I'd left all my money at the gas station. I told Monty I appreciated his offer, but you can't get blood from a PI who replaced it with whiskey years ago. I saw the gas station again and figured I'd get my money back. I paid my tab. You know, first time for everything. And wouldn't you know it, there was my money waiting for me. Hmm, and I found some friends. 
Oh, my little black book was starting to fill up with numbers I'd actually call. I used my new friends to pick up some salt at the general store. Mm. Feeling as enlightened as an alcoholic P.I. can be, I figured I'd take the lines again. Mm, that's not edited footage. You just hit the fire button and you get the present. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Stop! Everything was stupid and nonsensical in this topsy-turvy world, but I wouldn't let it break me. Showering me with gifts I was supposed to pass along to them. Oh, sure. I got room for some liquid Drano in the old Santa sack. Wait. Poison? I'd had enough. <laughs> On your knees, shopkeeper. I'm taking option four. Robbery. I'm taking the stuff straight to them, see? Unless you want me to pay you in lead. You have found us. Do you have random number subroutine failed gold? I do, I said. I'm taking Joe home and I'm getting me what's mine. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. If you wanted to tell me to fuck off, I'm happy to, I said. And then I thought, I touched those circle things and only spent a night at the hospital. And this might be okay. These guys wouldn't be stupid enough to piss off Joe's family by killing me, would they? <laughs> 